Here's a fun fact. October 30th is about to be recognized as National Wicked Day. It's the very first time that a Broadway show has its own official day. Let's send it out to Paul Wontorek with two more stars of the current Broadway production. Thanks, Tamsin. The theater brought together John Dossett and Michelle Park, and now they're starring alongside each other in Wicked. I journeyed to the Oranges of New Jersey to get a glimpse of their life beyond Oz. Welcome. Welcome to our home. Hello again. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Thank, thank, thank you so you. much for having me in your home. Absolutely, Paul. Welcome. This, this is your home away from Broadway. Yes, it is. We've been out here 18 years and uh, one of the best decisions we've ever made. There's a whole Broadway community out in yeah. New Jersey. So much so that when the trains like mess with you, right. like half of the Broadway shows are all in panic. You could see everybody <laughs> texting their saying, we're still in Secaucus. We, <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna get in. You two met doing theater. I mean, I think together combined, you have over 30 Broadway credits. And that's not even counting the off-Broadway and the regional and film and TV. I mean, it, you've, you've done a lot. Yes. And now, you are working together in like the biggest Broadway musical of all time for its anniversary. Which might be like the perfect way to bookend it. Oh, is this, is this, the, is this well, the grand maybe, finale? Well, you know, what, is, it might be is, for me. This is the penultimate one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for you. I don't do that many musicals anymore for, yeah. m you know, many reasons. And um, to go out with a big one like this feels really great. It's, it's incredible that we're part of the 20th anniversary season. We were saying that we were driving home the other night and we were like, I feel, I'm honored, aren't you honored? Absolutely. Yeah, it yeah. feels nice to have been chosen for that. At the garage, big doings. Look, Melissa Etheridge is opening tonight. We're super fans. So how did this actually happen? How did you both end up in Oz? I never thought I'd be doing The Wizard. I'd seen it a couple of times, yeah. and but I never thought I'd be doing The Wizard, but. Really? No. Oh, no. you're so fond. Well, he's the old guy, and now I'm the old guy. <laughs> I so know. There you are. But I love it. And I Madame love Morrible the and The Wizard have like a thing. Oh, they, well, I was gonna say, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, Madame because... Morrible and The Wizard, oh, yeah. I, I, I like a little sexual tension <laughs> between yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. we may be old, but we're not dead. <laughs> I'm sure when you get a job in a show that you know people are going and ready to love it, I mean, the audiences go crazy every night. That's and and you know that it's not going anywhere. Your, your contract's not gonna, end. it's not gonna suddenly end. <laughs> what does it mean to have a gig like this? I've been in some some hits. I've been in some yeah. big shows and show, so is Shell. And we've never seen anything like the way people love this show. I mean, to be on that stage at the very end when those two women come rushing through the, the wall of sound that smacks you. I mean, really, it, it's humbling every night yes. you think, okay, we're like really lucky. Sometimes really it hurts lucky. your ears. It's a sonic <laughs> boom. It, it's, it's, it's awesome. It's they incredible to be a part of. Here we are. Gershwin stage door. And that's Great. it. Time to make the wicked. <laughs> you two met doing a musical called Hello Again, right? which is all about sex. Which is all about meeting, finding your so. soulmate. <laughs> okay, but it's also, <laughs> it's also a musical that literally goes from one couple, and then you see that one person have sex with another person, <laughs> and then another person, and it's Laurent, is it right? Yes, it's based it? on yes. the play, and, yes, and it's, a big, it's, a, it's, yeah. a, it's all about sex, looking or connection, for sure. Yes. <laughs> or looking for that person, or that relationship that will complete you. Yeah, the actress and the senator. Yes. And they had a pair up. What? Yes. Do you have any like favorite performances of each other? I mean, you've seen each other do oh, so many things. Oh, wow. so many. Well, Heroes, she was incredible in Heroes. Oh, what a good play. Yeah. yeah. It, what Gypsy. Was yeah. Oh, well, so that, good. Herbie. Well, that was, yeah, he was a great Herbie. Do you want to know? Bernadette's we'll Herbie. Right. <laughs> Bernadette's, I know. That's what she calls them. It's the sweetest. And, you know, we go see each other's stuff early on, right? I remember I came early to that and you were singing, I don't know, You'll Never Get Away really? From Me or something. And they were, the two of them were dancing and he reaches his hands around and he grabs her bottom. And it was maybe, I'm not really a jealous person. I'm not, I just, by nature, and I was like, Wait a minute. No, but that that's mine. That and I, and and I was like and after the show was over I was like 
A plus because <laughs> I bought I that was awesome. Well, that's um, how I felt about you and Reed Bernie in a small fire. She was so good in that. Oh yeah, we did. We had yeah, we had sex there at the end of the play. Yeah, I didn't forget naked. about that. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. We we're developing this play, and the ending wasn't quite written yet, right? And mm -hmm. literally. Before the end of the play is written, we're sitting in a room with Adam Bach and the playwright and Trip Coleman, the director, and, and, and Reed said, well, I don't really know, I don't really have any opinions about how it should end, but we should definitely be naked. I was like, what? Why would you say that? What a strange, sure enough, there we were, then it gets written and we're naked. And he was 100% right, 100%. Wow. wow. Yeah the vulnerability of that mm -hmm. moment and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just have to mention her performance in Hollywood Arms, which was oh, Tony yeah. winning. Just, oh. Tony winning. That was 20 years ago you won that Tony. I know. Crazy. That was a great night. It doesn't feel like that long and then that I feel like I'm not quite night. that old, but yeah, that was a, where is just it? a special. It's in it's there. In the I was wondering where the, the, you know, a lot of times when you go to people's homes, there's like a, a, a wall or a hall of Broadway. Yeah, I noticed that. No, no. <laughs> you don't have that, like the the no, poster wall. No, no. Yeah, but the Tony has a little little shelf. There's a room in there of all of our favorite moments. Like, I caught a ball at Wrigley Stadium, and he made me a trophy. So that's in there. You know what I mean? Some of our special, like Frank that. Wood, is on like a snow globe. Well, I love that because it's basically it's just a part of your life. Yes. It's not like this is my yes. show business career, but it's just one of the things that happened to the family. Well, I tell you what, you know what? Because I think about like amazing performances, right? That that you've been in, that all of our friends have been in and sometimes you get recognized yeah. you know for for great work and sometimes you don't you know it's nice that you still have this genuine love of what you do and of the community and mm. I mean you're real show people when our son was born I considered myself I considered myself a father first mm -hmm. a husband second and an actor third sure and Third being down there, yeah, um, and and <laughs> well, the, but, that's, and that's, and the, but 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 you're the same way, and that's what yeah, that's yeah. what I, yeah. one of the things our, I love I about think our you. family and our oh, that's yeah, sweet. that's first. It is. It always came first. I think of us as you know journeymen. We're that sort of not just generation, but um, level, and we have tons of friends, right? Mark Latito and you know and who they just work and you know Michael McGrath who just yeah. passed away right yeah. just the journeyman who you couldn't wait to see in another play and yeah. so uh, it's actually an, an honor in yeah. in yeah. some ways to have been a part of this business and industry that long yeah yeah and you know we we both remember when we were the youngest person in the show and and now we're not now yeah. I've, for a while i've been the oldest person and and so true. and i love i love that and i, I love, don't know that i love it <laughs> <laughs> i know because i don't think of myself like that i still feel like oh i'm so hip and well, then, and then are. my, my knees are, are killing me older, and then i walk by a mirror and i'm like oh well right. the mirrors are tough it's like what I, oh, all I, I see in the mirror is my dad. It's like <laughs> sure. my son looks like me, and I look like my dad. And I'm like okay. Well, uh, yeah. So your journey, man. So how is the journey different now? Do you look at it differently than than you did maybe when you first met? I do. Do you? I, well, I just know my place. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? I just know. Well, it's it's I'm I'm. You're not going to be the lead guy. It's oh, it's oh, it's. Oh, I oh. like it's. Yeah. I, I love encouraging new people, and, and it's it's great that I've done shows with a lot of young people sure. that that have uh, stayed in my life, and uh, uh. and uh, it's uh, yeah, that's that's very rewarding to me that I can that I mm -hmm. could influence them in a certain way. And in fact, I, I spoke to one who uh, just wanted to. He called me, and I thought, oh, he must want something, and he, and uh, he said, no, he just he just wanted to see how I was doing, and he was talking about. A, he and another former person I've worked with had said uh, um, they had a, a situation and they thought, well, what would Dossett do? And and that that meant a lot to me. Sure. Isn't that great? I want that t-shirt. Like, what, what would Dossett, Dossett do? <laughs> I want that shirt too. Oh, I yeah. know. So, you know, to just try and impact people <laughs> in a in a in a positive, supportive way. 
What about you, Michelle? How's it? How do you um, see it? And, and it's also teaching. I'm sure that I really refocused you. I, it did, and I was so thankful. I teach at Wagner College yeah. uh, in Staten Island, and I love, love, love the whole philosophy of that. A, the liberal arts education, and and also that it's a BA, and so these kids are well-rounded and they're right. smart, and they could sit here and have a conversation with you about any you yeah. know, myriad of things. You know, it's it's the three things, right? Is it gonna fulfill the? You know, are you gonna be suitably mm -hmm. cons compensated or? more than compensated are you going to be is it going to be artistically fulfilling and for me a lot of times lately it's been is there going to be somebody in the room that i really really want to learn from so that's sort of how i feel at this point in my life like can i be in the room with someone who is is better than me smarter than me going to challenge me going to make me uncomfortable and want to learn something new so i think that's the as i gotten older yeah and wicked, you know, it was yeah. just a blast. I just want to have fun. <laughs> I was just thinking, looking at the two of you, so many of your performances are so burned in my brain. And it really re it re it reminds me of how special theater is and the legacy of it. Because even if there's not film of it, it the, the connection with audiences, it's so powerful. I mean, and it's so much of it is, you, you've, you've left so much. Oh, so I that's just wanted you to know such that. a, it's really, it's really true. That's, well, that's such a kind, really kind thing to say, thanks. But it's just coming out of earnestly sitting here with the two of you and thinking about all the incredible wow. things I've seen you both do. It's, it's funny because, it, it, yes, and we talk about this and I feel this way too as an educator, right? What we do, so much of it, is a craft, yeah. right? We hand this down. I learned things standing off stage in, in Crazy For You, and I was desperately trying to get a laugh because I am a laugh whore. And <laughs> I was trying to figure out this beat in this moment and I couldn't do it. And Jane Canal, the great, yeah. right, vaudevillian, she took me aside and she said, I see you're trying to get a laugh on that. Do you want some help? Wow. Yes, please. You know, and she taught me how I how you break this down. That was your big break. Harry Groner, it was. Yeah. And I was so grateful to have learned from all of those. Like they were such incredible mentors for me. So I feel in some ways as we get older, like we're on the other end of that so now, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I just have to say, my wife's an incredible teacher. <laughs> She's an incredible teacher and so many of her students have come back to her over the years and she's always having lunch with them and they're asking, still asking for her advice and uh, I, I... You're making it, me cry. At least a couple times a week, some of her former students are at the show and we, you know, yeah. stay after and wow. talk to them. I, I really, the connection and that I've been able to make with these yeah. young adults and now, you know, some of them have gone on and had very successful careers on Broadway and regionally and national tours and, and some are now lawyers and some sure. are now I have a student who's a rabbi and <laughs> you know like how great that is to have uh, made a connection at, in such formative years like though that mm. 18 to 22 uh, that's such a delicious age. So I, I thanks for saying that I, uh, I had really really loved teaching. Yeah, and a lot of them, even if they don't wind up being performers, that experience enriches yeah. their life. And they, people yes. all say that all the time. Right? Yeah. I yeah. mean, even people that I went to uh, college with, when I went to a, like a BFA, I mm -hmm. finished at a uh, Cincinnati, mm -hmm. some of the people I went to college with like went on to manage gyms and corporations and banks, and they have a BFA in musical theater. I think it's because, you know, we have the art of, yes, I can tell you how to do it. <laughs> you know, we just yeah. like we're we're schmoozing our way through, but it's it's a skill. It's a skill, right? So you two, you're still still in love after all these years. I love it. I just love seeing you together. The only thing we want is just more time. I oh. know, right? Yeah. Yeah.